It's my last video before heading home and I'm driving along the interstate and in kind of an unusual situation here, I saw a whole bunch of cars on the side of the interstate and now I can't find out how to get down to them. The struggle is real. Oh, I'll find it. Don't you be thinking I won't. There's a road up here. I'll drive through a field. That's why I got the big tires. I ain't scared. I'm gonna find that place. Probably gonna pee up against this tree first. I won't film that. For those of you who are paying attention to such things, I'm at the Unadilla exit off of 75. And um, I'm gonna try to find this place. I saw an El Camino and I saw a Falcon. There's other stuff too, but no guarantee I'll be able to find it. I will guarantee, however, that I will do what's necessary. Ah! Even go up over these Georgia potholes to find it. Oh, I'll find it. This is why you pay the big bucks for my content, because I find stuff. I find so much stuff. Well, it's all uh, closed up, but I sure as heck will be hopping out, because I know you guys will want to see this. Yeah, there's the Falcon, the El Camino. There's, yeah, I'm gonna get all this on tape. If I get shot, this will be my last few moments on the planet, but let's get out here and check out this stuff. Cool little fa- oh, it's for sale. These are things that can be purchased. Little Falcon, square body, Tahoe. Crew cab truck down there. Cool little van right here. Red El Camino. There's a 75 or 6 vet there. S10 down the hill. All right, and a Ford, probably 62 to 64 era. These are just on the side of the interstate. Oh, you see the red Camaro. I think that might be a Z28 up there. We got to go look at that more closely. 74 to 77, you'll find lots of Camaros. Well, not lots of them, but you won't find many Z28s of that era. It's a pretty rare little car. And there's a wasp nest, a harbinger of my fate. All right. Oh, now that's kind of cool. Is this a truck up here? Oh, go ahead and get to the info that matters. 229-947-1548. There's a little bug parts car. The truck has brand new tires on it. Kind of a wide variety here. Ooh, I like the 2500 HD. Ford got some cool rims, a white and red interior. That's cool, too. There's something way back in there that looks to be pretty old. I don't know what that is. Look at this Chevy. Oh, a trailer camper. Step van. All right, that's cool. sliding window on the far side you see that through there that's cool yeah just on the side of the road man if any of this looks interesting by all means call them you have the number now more stuff in there what's that top for just a standard Jeep like 80s hmm it goes back in there pretty far too. There's a lot of stuff stuck back in the trees. Let's get back out on the road. At least you guys know what's back in here now. You know what's weird? And I want your opinion on this. Cars like this, are they rare? Are they worth any money? Because that's a Buick. You know, Olds had one similar, you know, same body style, just a little different trim. But is something like that desirable? 
kind of like the Prezi N. You know, you've not seen the Pontiac version of that car. We've all seen those, but you don't seen the you don't see the Pontiac much. Prezi N Brome. Yeah. But are those worth anything these days? Oh, the Camaro's looking so good over there. I know we just see the the nose there, but nice shiny red paint. Another Chevy truck back there. Another, let's say, like 72 to 74 Chevy. I was wrong on the Corvette. You see that little bit of a chrome bumper? That's a 68 to 73 rear end. I'm thinking that's a 73 because the 73 had the plastic nose and the chrome bumper. Cool little dually and pewter right next to it. A lot of stuff in there, man. Huh, might have to call this guy later. 229-947-1548. Back out on the road. We're in kind of central Georgia, kind of southern Georgia. But I wanted to make sure you guys saw this just on the side of the road. By the way, that's also a really good street to pee on. No traffic to speak of. Low-lying vegetation. You don't get the impression something's going to jump up and change your life forever. You guys remember the scene in Christine when Artie and his buddy are cruising along in the Mopar and then they spot Christine and they slowly go past the bushes and you see her sitting there. It's not Christine, but check out this. <laughs> it's a crew cab Mopar, which... That's a pretty rare thing these days, especially of that generation. Guys, it's a little off topic. I'm down at the very bottom of Georgia, and you know we just had a Dahlia come through here? Several signs like that just kind of ripped down and some branches on the ground. It may get worse, it may get better. I'm just on my way to grab a meal. But uh, not a huge amount of damage. At, well, there's part of a sign on the road right there on the side of it. Yeah, it... Uh, tell she was through here yeah got some damage here and there those winds must have been a little more intense than they were going through parts of Florida well I jumped off the interstate all I was seeing was downed trees in southern Georgia and extreme northern Florida now we are on 41 slash 441 south I uh, got on it about Lake City and we'll be heading the rest of the way into Tampa on those two roads there's always cool stuff on these roads but man, the damage through here is, it's real. It really happened. Adelia was not a nice woman. Good Lord, look at the size of the horns on that cow thing. I think it's part pterodactyl or some primitive. Good Lord. I gotta pull over and look at this. Hello, Moo Cow. Good Lord. Jeez. Back in the lovely Tampa Bay area. Cool little Falcon, man. Never seen that out driving around. I wonder if he still drives it. Woo, road trip's over. 2,549 miles. <sighs> Adventure. <laughs>